addiction class and realized this is something that we really want to do is go out there and make a difference in our community and make a big positive impact. Switch in their whole life. Our helping them yeah. with that. From sober living facilities yes. to now cleaning up San Diego. Isn't That's that great. awesome? Yeah. I like the update. Good yeah. to hear. Uh, very windy out there as we kick off our Wednesday morning. We are now halfway through the week and we're seeing a stark transition from what we saw Monday and Tuesday to now Wednesday through the rest of the week, which will involve wind, rain, low elevation snow, and also much cooler temperatures. So it's dark outside as we kick off the morning. Cloud cover is out there. Pretty dense to kick off the morning. We do see showers scattered in nature. Very light for the most part. Totals have come in around a tenth of an inch and lighter, and they'll likely stay that way throughout the rest of your morning and into your afternoon. Kearney Mesa's come in at seven one hundredths of an inch. Oceanside five one hundredths. We'll get new numbers every couple hours from the National Weather Service. Today the forecast shows temperatures are largely stagnant. Upper 40s and low 50s, so very little change in those afternoon highs. We're cooling by about 10 to 15 degrees along the coast and upwards of 20 degrees for your mountains and deserts. And take a look, that wind symbol is going to be the main theme of the day. So sure, there are some scattered showers expected, and at times that probability of precipitation is going to climb up to 20 to maybe 30 percent chance, but things stay light in nature. That's because this first trough of low pressure is sinking down inland, so it doesn't have much moisture attached to it. We earlier were talking about that wraparound moisture. We're going to have another trough of low pressure sink down along our coastline, and as it sinks down, it's going to be right over the Pacific, using all of that warm water to feed in to the center of low pressure and then drop all of it on us. So we've got more wet weather on the way, especially for about Friday, Saturday, but we'll talk about that in just one second. Here's the rest of your Wednesday. Scattered in nature, showers continue over the mountaintops in the form of snow above 2,000 feet. That's a low snow cut off for us. 1.30 p.m. South Bay is getting a couple light showers out there. Those will continue all the way through the day on Wednesday and even into Thursday. Here's that trough of low pressure then sinking down across the Pacific. This is going to be an atmospheric river event for our about Friday, Saturday, and that's where we're expected to tap into the possibility of two and a half inches of rain along our coastline, three to four inches inland, mountains and deserts three to seven inches, and again, that's going to be largely dependent on that snow cutoff and deserts staying light overall, but take a look. This is going to start to dip south, and that's where we start to really see our precipitation pick up, especially on Saturday. It will then move east from us, give us a brief dry spell for about Sunday afternoon through Monday, and then it looks like as early as Tuesday, we'll have another round of moisture moving in our direction. So we're really not letting our guard down too much over the next week or so. Afternoon highs today, much cooler than normal and cooler than where we were yesterday. 50s for the most part, and some spots were peaking in the upper 40s. A daily opportunity at rain all the way through the weekend. Again, Sunday afternoon through Monday is going to be our longest dry stretch that we have in this eight day period because it looks like another trough of low pressure is going to sink in by Tuesday. So we'll get a couple days off, but between now and Saturday, especially all hands on deck. This is going to be wind, rain, low elevation snow and those cooler temperatures all affecting us. Wind is going to start to die down tonight. We'll see if we get another uh, issuing of uh, a high wind warning or a wind advisory, but for now they're set to expire and then we'll see that rain steadily pick up throughout the rest of the week. I'll send things back to you.